It's January, it's Germany, it's Düsseldorf, and this means it's boat time. Like every year, the biggest water sport fair in the world is back, and regardless whether you like sailing, motorboats, super yachts, boat equipment, water tourism, transports, fishing, canoeing, diving, or all of them, this is the place to be. So make yourself a cup of tea or grab a glass of alt beer and get yourself comfy, because the show is about to start and this is a look at some of the most interesting scuba-related innovations we found at this year's show. If there's one thing Boat 2020 has done, that was to keep raising awareness for the challenges we throw at the sea thanks to our inconsiderate behaviour as a species. The most evident aspect of this is the impact plastic waste has on the marine ecosystem, and to see companies identifying the problem as well as proposing solutions sets a really positive signal. Cornwall-based company Waterhole, for example, is concentrating on the most abundant form of marine plastic around, ghost fishing nets, and thanks to a growing network, they collect and turn them into new resources. Waterhole run a growing line of products made of sunglasses and some really cool new green scuba diving fins made from recycled drift nets. But to give you a better idea of what we're talking about, here is Harry Dennis, founder and CEO of Waterhole. I'm Harry and I'm the founder of a social enterprise called Waterhall. Our mission is to take fishing nets, which are a waste product in our ocean. Huge volumes of these nets enter our ocean every year. We're taking that problem and trying to find a solution. We intercept and recycle these fishing nets into new products. We launched last year in spring. We produced these sunglasses and the frames are made from 100% recycled fishing nets. Here is our recycled fishing net fin. So the blade is, is green for a reason and that's because it's come from the fishing nets that we're intercepting. We've also changed the foot pocket here and so this is a firmer plastic rubber and for the base of this material, which starts as a plastic, um, we've used again a recycled material and so 30% of this is recycled too. It takes 1.25 kilograms of fishing net to create a pair of fins. These days, if you do any water-based activity, you know how often you can come across waste above or below the waves. And during some of these activities, taking a bag with you to collect and get rid of trash can be difficult. But don't worry, since from now on, you will be able to equip yourself with something called trash bag. Trash bag is a portable bag made from recycled material, which can be comfortably attached to your tie, your calf, and which will help you store any trash you find in the water. Here to talk to us, straight from Bali, the man behind this really cool idea, Mr. Triu Hoin. We are Trash Bag and our mission is to make every surfer and every diver an ocean cleaner. How did I come up with the idea? Uh, I was surfing in Bali uh, about one and a half years ago and there was a trash island floating by and there was nothing we can do. I searched for a bag um, that kept me surfing but there was nothing. So I designed one, we made one, we tested, we improved. I send out a Facebook video, 10,000 views, and here we are. The bags are 36 online for the large bag and 29 for the small bag. In French, azote means nitrogen, and as divers we should know the relevance and implications the element holds for us. Even if many seem to have forgotten, maybe never fully understood or even touched the concepts, gas accumulation and decompression are central topics to our safety while practicing the sport. To help, after eight years of research, the French company Azot Systems presented a small pod called O-Dive, which the industry already welcomed as a truly groundbreaking innovation. Complementary to the dive computer, O-Dive consists of a vascular microbubble Doppler measuring system that analyzes the gas microbubbles in your blood and can help you adapt and optimize your dive and decompression profiles. But to explain more, we'd like to hand over to Azod's business developer and avid diver, Emmanuel Kuhn. Odive from Azod System, a French company, uh, is the first connected device enabling a diver to dive safer and to do some customized decompression. Uh, it's a Doppler measuring the quantity of bubbles in a venous system after the dive. The product is aimed for 
recreational diver uh, on the one series which is till 60 meters deep on air and nitrox and the tech version purpose is for tech divers but it does also air nitrox trimix and heliox uh, on open circuit and closed rebreather we've been working approximately eight years developing the technology which is unique in the world uh, we have uh, collected more than 1.2 million dives in our database which is quite unique uh, so it's a tool which is dedicated to divers diver uh, instructors or instructor trainers and which is um, easy to use but again a unique technology um, and we are the first in the world who have come with this technology and commercialize it product is on the market since may uh, 2019 and the price for the unit for the consumer for the diver for the unit one is 590 euros inclusive the VAT French VAT and for the tech it's 790 to so 200 euro more expensive for the tech version and that's it for this episode Hopefully you enjoyed it, and even though it's been a while since the last one, don't worry, as there is plenty of exciting things coming your way. So stay at home, keep healthy and safe, watch some wet soles, and as always, remember, keep your soles wet.